destroyed. I was then uh, welcomed up through a beautiful, slowly spinning white light uh, with an associated melody. How do we know this guy is lying? Pay attention to his choice of words. I was welcomed up through a brilliantly, he's using a lot of adjectives to, to overly describe this, this, this occurrence. Okay. That's a red flag. All right. Welcomed up. No, beamed up. You see what I'm saying? He's saying welcomed up. All right. Then he says there's a melody associated with him being in the light. All right. The light is him in the tunnel, the monolith tunnel that's on the moon. All right. The seven mile monolith on the moon that they dubbed the soul catcher. He's in that tunnel. He says it's slowly spinning and it's pulling him into the light. All right. Then he says there's a melody with it, a song. OK, but pay attention to his words and how he speaks about this. Into a brilliant, ultra real valley. Uh, that was filled with lush and fertile life, uh, with uh, flowers, blossoms on trees, buds. Uh, I was a speck of awareness on a butterfly wing with millions of other butterflies. And then. So now he's telling you he is in some sort of uh, green valley, all right? <laughs> like the Garden of Eden or something. Okay, now, now use your brain here, people. Use common sense. You are a spirit. OK, your energy, you cannot enjoy green grass or anything that's physical. All right. None of it. So why is it even there? It's fake. It's false. It's meant to mislead you. Of other butterflies. And then there were souls below dancing. And uh... then he says he's with other butterflies. OK. He's a butterfly and he's with other butterflies. All right. What type of analogy is this? He's a butterfly. OK. Um, then he says there's souls dancing. Dancing. Is that all we got to do? Is that, that, that what we need to look for? Dancing. Is that, That's all. huh? Souls dancing. That's what that's what we all got to look forward to. Come on, y'all. He's making this up and he's not doing a very good job of it. And uh, uh, up above, these swooping orbs of pure spiritual beings, of uh, uh, golden orbs that were leaving sparkling trails, emanating tremendous uh, chants and hymns okay, and anthems. Okay, okay, we get it, we get it. Back. Back. Then lastly, uh, before the announcer cuts him off, because it seems like he just had enough of this, this BS, but he says there's orbs, all right, which there are, yellow orbs. Your soul will appear like a yellow orb sometimes. That's true. However... He says they're all singing hymns, hymns, all right, religious. First they're dancing, now, now they're singing. And they just run it. We, you know, these orbs are souls. So basically what he's telling you is people are just running around, you know, as spirits singing and dancing. That's it. That's it. That's what you got to look forward to. All right. Can you see how this is being made up? This guy is probably not even human. He's probably a clone, an alien of some sort. He's pushing the narrative way too much. It doesn't make sense. All right. It's, it's like he almost wants to. He's trying so hard to convince you to believe him. He's trying too hard. He's not telling his story. He's telling a story. All right. Now, there's a deeper connection here, one that I didn't even see before. And what it is, though, is the aliens who run the soul trap are putting agents down here, whether they're, you know, real humans. I don't think so. I think they're actually the aliens. And the reason I think is the aliens themselves disguised as humans that's doing this is because when you, they're weirdos, all right? Remember how I tell you that, of course we know there are beings uh, that walk amongst us that look like human and not human. How would you know? They would be weirdos to us, all right? Because they have not been raised in the human condition of the environment of wherever you are. See, like I'm a black man and 
United States associated with the hood. I, a weirdo would stick out to me like a sore thumb. You could be in the United Kingdom or wherever. You will know somebody that is not, that is a weirdo who's claiming to be in your, your cultural environment. You see what I'm saying? This guy is a weirdo. He doesn't even speak like a doctor. He's using too many adjectives to describe something, a deaf experience, a near-deaf experience that supposedly happened to him. He's a weirdo. He's probably an alien disguised, uh, you know, as a human. I'm willing to bet that on my life. See, the, the, I keep telling you, what are they here for? People are always like, what, 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 why do they want our souls? What's going on? Like the post, two, back, two posts back, Star Trek episode where the alien is trying to get, you know, the girl to go into the soul trap, you know, frustrated when she says no she's not going he says i'll be back and you will nourish my soul me you will nourish me meaning i'm going to eat off of your energy i'm going to feed off of you there are beings that feed off of the energy of our soul and that's why they're doing this as well as this is a prison colony we work at i mean we live in all right they have many uses for us and think about it i always told you the more advanced species always eats the lower species. Because that's what we do here on Earth. We eat our lower species. No matter how smart they may be, we eat them. We consume them. Why do you not think a, be a, a race of beings that's uh, more advanced than us would not look at us as some sort of food? All right. And so you're thinking eat our physical flesh. Yeah, they are beings like reptilians that do eat our physical flesh and things like that. But what about the more advanced beings that's even more advanced than them who may not even be physical like us, but recognize that our soul is energy and they feed off energy. See, we cannot use our limited understanding of higher advanced beings or technology um, to limit what they can do. All right. It's, it, it, it's quite normal that there would be beings that feed off energy, that eat power. You, you see what I'm saying? That's a logical uh, uh, theory and conclusion for that much. OK, because I guarantee you certain beings eat off our energy and we know that. Stay tuned for more. Well, get the soul trap, people. If you don't get the soul trap and learn how to escape uh, this reincarnation cycle, they're going to be feeding off of you. All right. I told you they got a black box where they can store your soul until they need it, meaning they can feed off of you until they decide to reincarnate you. All right. But you basically be held captive as a prisoner inside a box all right get the soul trap this is not a joke